hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here karibu please remember to subscribe to the returning subscribers asante nisana for still being here i really appreciate your support um so today's video is going to be all over the place i'm going to do some cooking cleaning and all that stuff so it's a beautiful morning we've already done our morning devotion so now i want to unhang the laundry that i did yesterday evening and before i get to breakfast and we also had our carpet cleaned a few days ago so i'll be cleaning the living room later on and returning it to the living room and then later in the day i'll just um clean relax and maybe throw in a cooking video yeah so enjoy <laughs> Thank you. 
just giving the sink a scrub and wiping the surfaces down and the reason why I prefer to do this before doing breakfast is I really find it overwhelming to start preparing other meals when the sink is still full so I would rather just clean up and then get started on whatever I'm preparing. I find it easier to do that. On to breakfast now. I'm just preparing some simple milk tea and bread toasted with eggs and a banana for each of us. I'm now back from a much needed break. I had to rest, I was feeling tired. So now I want to tidy up the seats, then wipe down the cabinet, the TV cabinet and the windows before sweeping and finally getting to the mopping part. going to wipe down the tv cabinet but i remembered i hadn't swept and sweeping after wiping down would have been zero work so i went to get my broom to start sweeping as i manifest a vacuum cleaner
the TV, I'll just wipe it with a dry microfiber cloth, which I'll also use to wipe the windows after I've cleaned them with the wet microfiber cloth. Again, with the wet microfiber cloth, I'm cleaning that car area. I don't even know how it's cold, but I want to have it all clean because the mop doesn't clean there.
At this point I was so tired so I was just calling out for help. The living room was all dried up so I just needed to put the carpet and wrap it up. Also please excuse the lighting. At this point the weather was changing and it even looked like it was going to rain. I'm done with the cleaning now. I actually cleaned the whole house off camera, but it smells fresh and it's clean. It's comforting and relaxing actually. I love how everything turned out. point i'm extremely tired but i just had to do this because this is what i had planned for dinner so i want to knead the dough let it rest for a while and then i'll make the chapatis and later do the beans and i think i'll be done for the day
um the dough is ready now i want to start making the chapos but i've remembered something interesting so my mom passed on when we were young so my siblings and i were raised by my dad and some of my uncles so our childhood was mostly spent around male relatives they took good care of us but yeah you get the picture so sir there's a time post uni i was making chapos for dinner so we were supposed to have chapo and beef stew that night so my sister didn't know how to make chapos i also didn't know how to make chapos but we decided to try so we went to the kitchen did what we used to see our father doing hey dad tukaanza kupika chapo so as my sister was rolling them and i was in the pan section so I was the one who was frying them <laughs> my friend the chapatis were so hard like even flipping them was a problem and my sister and I were wondering can you tumefanya nini because we like followed the steps exactly the way my dad used to <laughs> so we just made the chapos and then that day when my dad came back we had already had dinner so we wanted to serve him chapo and he asked Leo tunakula nini we told him chap- chapo and beef stew so he told us to serve him but before we did he came to the kitchen to wash his hands <laughs> he saw the chapos as my sister was heating them up and then he said just make some ugali for me and then you guys will eat the chapos <laughs> even tomorrow at breakfast <laughs> my sister burst out laughing and my dad couldn't even control it me i was so embarrassed yani i i can't even forget that day so fast forward to a few years later i settled down so there's this day i came home from work and decided i'm going to make chapos for my partner because i was all excited the relationship was just like fresh fresh so i went to youtube and decided this time i'm not going to blunder went to youtube watched several tutorials on how to make chapos and then settled on one i even wrote down like the quantities the ingredients killer kitu to the letter see i started sasa preparing the dinner <laughs> so i needed the flour and then i think at that point i wasn't really sure on how to check on the consistency of the dough And then that time we were living in a bed sitter. So I had bought this to bows that you, you can use to roll the chapos if you don't have a surface because at that point we didn't have a surface. Hey, mschana wheel. I sat on the floor, started rolling the chapos and making them same disaster. And this ones they were even burning like you see the way they're supposed to be golden brown. This ones the patches were black. I had to open the windows to the bed sitter. Sasa mambo yalikuwa yamechemka like it was so smoky. And then a short while later my partner came back and like the the smoke hadn't really ishad but it wasn't as intense as it was the time I was cooking. So he came in and like he is so kind. <laughs> so so kind. He didn't he just asked why is it smoky and then I said I was making chapos and I burnt a few of them and then he said ah, it's okay things happen in the kitchen fast forward to dinner time you guys see napasha chapo moto I couldn't even like warm them up that's how crisp they were hey, my partner is just seated there so I serve him the stew was bomb but the chapos oh my god so we sat down to eat and then he said it's okay you'll just learn because like not everyone knows how to make chapos and i knew him he was a very good cook of chapos because even at home like kwao he used to make good chapos so we sat down and started eating me i was dying of embarrassment like the chapos were so cringe so sir after the first chapos for each of us i decided to just dispose them nikamwambia tu to cool stew because i couldn't even stand it anymore <laughs> but fast forward to like a few months later he taught me like two sessions and i don't know maybe he was patient with me or he's just a good teacher i don't know so many of you who've tasted my chapos are always like aki you make the softest chapos your chapos are usually so tasty nini you guys 
I did not know how to make chapo at all. So if you're like me, we lose hope. <laughs> you can just watch the tutorials or find someone to teach you. If you want, I can teach you. You can just contact me. I can teach you because at least now I can say I make one of the best chapos like around actually of all the people I know. Yeah. done now i'm going to wrap this up and then do the beans take a shower serve dinner and call it a day it has really been a long and hectic day for me today
sorry for the chapels did good this time so these are carrot chapatis and white butter beans and some cabbage if you're interested in the recipe for the chapels please let me know in the comment section i'll be sure to do a tutorial on that guys this is the following day sunday i wasn't able to film in the morning because it was a hectic morning with church and everything so i did a wash and go we went to church we just came back a while ago rested and now i want to do some two corners to get me through the week and i decided to share this clip with you guys as i end the vlog
this video this is how my hair looks if you're interested in seeing me do more hair videos like crochet or braiding let me know in the comment section i'll be sure to check out the comments and see which ones i can start with or if there's any content that you might be interested in seeing me doing please let me know in the comment section so if you enjoyed the video please remember to give it a thumbs up share and subscribe please subscribe and also turn on the post notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video see you on the next video guys and i really hope you enjoyed this one bye